In this video we'll find out how to write tests for your React components using Jest and React testing library. My name is Maxim and I make programming tutorials to make it easier for you to learn JavaScript and React. So if you're interested, subscribe to the channel and press like to this video. And let's go. Let's say we have simple search component. It only contains some input where we can input text, text, and we can click search button. When we click search button, it outputs our query. And this is how it looks like. Inside of our app, we define this component and we pass request search function. In our case, it's just console log. The search box component looks like this. It's a simple functional component that has two functions defined, update query and search click. Update query is triggered every time we change in value of our input. And search click is triggered when we click our search button. So what functionality does this component have? In other words, what do we need to test? I would say we have three kinds of things going on here. First of all, we have our layout. So we need to check that we correctly output our input and our search button. Next, we have our update query function that is triggered every time we change data inside of our input. It tracks the input value and updates it inside of our input component. And last thing it does, when we click our search button, it actually sends our search request, it sends our query outside through the function passed through, through the props. And it only does it when we have query. So we need to check this as well. Let's write our tests. We'll be using React testing library, so add it to your package JSON. Go to search box test.js, create new file, and first we need to import React. Import React from React. Then we need to import render and fire event functions from React testing library. From React testing. React. We also need to import our search box component. Search box from local file search box. And we form a document. Now we can start writing tests. First test I want to write is to verify that we correctly render our component. It not italic, it renders correctly and we pass a function we're going to use react testing library render function when called this function can return a bunch of different queries so in our case we're going to query by test id and by placeholder name we're going to query our button by test id and our search box by placeholder name because it has search placeholder query by test id query by placeholder name equals render and we pass our search box component now we can make our expectations we write expect query by test id search button to be truthy. Let's see if our tests have passed. It renders correctly because in our search box file I've specified that data test ID for the search button so it can successfully find it. Next, we need to make sure that our input is also rendered. So let's copy this thing, but instead of query by test ID, let's use query by placeholder name. Query by placeholder text, not name. 
and let's fix imports. Query by placeholder text, search. Let's go to our test results and it still passes the test. Now let's test that our input value changes because we have altered this behavior using our code in our component. So let's use describe block to describe specific aspect of our component, our input value. And we need to test if it updates on change. In this test, we're going to fire change event in our input component, in our input element, and verify that our that its value have changed. Define query by placeholder text and render our search box. We don't need our query button, so we are not using query by test ID. Now uh, we need to find our search search box and um, save it to a constant. Search input. It will be query by placeholder text search. Now we'll fire the event. The event will be change. There is a bunch of other events that we can fire, but we need only this one. We pass our search input as first element. And our event will have target with value test. Now we need to expect something. We will expect that search input search input value to be test. So we make sure that the value that we fired inside of our event is same as resulting value of the input. Let's see the test results. And they still pass. Ideally we want to make sure that they can also break. So let's pass another value value and it and they broke that's good news let's fix them back and continue last thing we want to test is our search button so let's create our last describe block search button we could actually have a top layer describe block but we don't really need it because our test results already look quite tidy because we have only search box related tests in our search box test JS file. So let's specify the function and it will have another describe block because we can have two situations here. If we open search box and look at search click function, there are two cases. If we have query value, if we have some value in our input element, then we will trigger the request search function. Otherwise, we'll do nothing. So we need to check both cases. Let's go back to our tests and create another describe with no query or with empty query. Let's define another function and let's describe it block inside. It does not trigger request search function. Request search function is a prop that we can pass to our search box. Let's use this line, I will copy it over because we'll need both query by test ID and query by placeholder text. And we need to pass, or first we need to create our request search function. const request search equals just.fn. 
we're going to use a mock function because we'll need to track if it was called. Now we pass it as request search prop quest search okay and now we can make some action actually we don't need to query by placeholder text because by default it will be empty we need to find our button no actually we'll fire the event fire event click we pass query by test id search button as first argument and then we make an expectation expect request search search not to have been called and it wasn't called let's try removing no let's try removing not let's verify that the test will fail and now let's move it back here we have just verified that if we have this function defined our request search function uh, but we don't have any query and we click our search button this function is not going to be called. Next, we need to verify that if the query will be filled with some data, then we will trigger this request search function. Let's create another describe block. Describe with data inside query. Inside of it, we say it triggers request search function we do we can copy over this code we will just edit it a little bit to make sure it fits our purpose to do it we'll also need our query by placeholder text to find our search input const search input equals query by placeholder text search now we need to fire our change event and we already have it a couple of lines above we can copy it over paste and now our query will have test value now we can check that our request search function which is just mock will be called once and our test passes let's make sure that we don't change the query and run it again and it fails now we have tested all the functionality of our component if you like this video and you want to see more tutorials like this then subscribe to my channel press like button if you like this video and see you next time